Jackson County lawmakers have chosen to a new lot to rebuild the county jail, but the land isn't empty right now. There's a mobile home park there, and now those folks will have to move. KCTV 5's Abby Dodge joins us from the Hart Mobile Village. So, Abby, did they know that this was coming? Well, Brad, the residents out here knew it was possible that the county might purchase the land. They didn't know for sure until this morning. One woman who we spoke with says she now feels awake from her nightmare. I'm sad in some ways. Jeannie Anderson is closing the door on her 14 year run as a resident at Hart Mobile Village. I wasn't ready to move. I thought I was gonna die here. Legislators reversed that decision for her. Everyone who lives in the mobile homes lining the property won't be here for long. Construction on the new Jackson County Jail is set to begin next spring. It's been a total wreck, but I'm glad that we are coming to some kind of closure. The same could be said for people in the Jackson County Jail. We've reported on the problems there. In 2016, an inmate was able to unlock his cell and wander the halls. The price for just the land the county is building on, $7 million. The county is also paying for residents to relocate, something Anderson says is imperative. I'm just glad and relieved this is over. I can relax. Anderson promises she's going to look out for her neighbors too finding places to move their homes or entirely new homes for those that crews can't move. I'm going to make sure. Now we reached out to the county for comment. They said they can't talk to us on camera until they've reached out to everyone who lives here in this mobile home village. Live in Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KC TV5 News. Thanks, Abby.